everybody, this is Praxis and I'm back on site today uh, doing the underbelly of the second row of stairs up here. They just all the wall boards are going up there. Um, about a third of the way up at the moment and uh, after that I'm going to be doing the box beams that hold up, uh, you know, these things like these uh, wires for smoke detectors and way up top over here, you know, we have lights and things. I'm going to be starting to put those up if I have time. Today's the last day that I'm going to be here for a little while. And the reason for that is that I'm going to be taking River to the ocean. We're going to be doing some boating there. We're going to be gone for about 72 hours. And I'm taking advantage of that rare event. I mean, I can't remember the last time I was gone from here for more than two days. Uh, to do this, I'm going to be running a radon test. Here in New England, uh, especially, it's really important to do radon tests. Uh, radon is an element. It is... Uh, radioactive, it can cause uh, lung cancer, and you know it's not the kind of thing you want to have in your house. Uh, here in New England, we have a lot of uh, granite, and granite sometimes can have uranium in it, and the uranium, you know, is a natural byproduct of its radioactive decay, can send up the radon. So you always want to make sure that you do a radon test, especially here in New England, but in many places uh, across the country and across the world. Uh, so I'm taking advantage of the fact that we have the house closed up for a couple of days because you need a couple of days to run a radon test. Uh, this one says you can do it between two and four days. Like I said, I'm going to be gone for about three days. Uh, and I was reading through the instructions and I'm glad that I did. I would highly recommend if you get a radon test, really read through the instructions because uh, while it's pretty simple, you just open up this package and the test has begun. And then when you are done with the test, you put it inside of this Ziploc bag and mail it in and closing it up in the Ziploc bag completes the test. Um, you know, that's pretty simple, but one thing that I didn't know uh, that I learned while reading the instructions was that uh, I, well, my original plan was at the end of the day today, I would set the radon test out, and then when we got back, I would, you know, close it up. Uh, apparently, you need to close all your windows and shut up the whole house for 12 hours prior to even beginning the test. So I'm modifying my plan a little bit. At the end of the day today, we're going to close all the windows and doors as we normally do, and then tomorrow morning before we leave, I'm going to come open the test, begin it, and then we'll close it up when we get back. So I mentioned that, so if you ever get a radon test, or any kind of a test really, make sure you read all the instructions ahead of time to make sure you don't back yourself into a corner later. There are all sorts of other things about making sure it's away from walls, you know, in terms of like, you know, air exchange and everything. But whatever test you get, make sure you read the instructions. What I'm about to jump back on up here is, uh, like I said, just doing, doing these guys. All these boards are three feet wide. They're going up in here. And uh, I thought maybe we'd go out on you guys watching me uh, on my incredibly sketchy ladder here. I, <laughs> this is like a prelude to something awful about to happen. I mean, literally, this is this is not particularly safe. But uh, you know, it, it was just it was too far to stretch. I'm trying to hammer up over my head just standing here, it was just really uncomfortable. So um, you yeah, know, I'm taking the risk. So far, so good on it, though. That's it. Thanks for watching.